Okay, so I thought I'd video this so you guys could truly get a vision. This is a two car garage, but it does have this bump out right here. So a little bit of extra storage, but doesn't get Gabriel's car in the garage. Here is the part of the street that is finished. I'm going kind of fast, sorry. Um, if you go over this way, there's a lot of construction happening. So just so you know, this is a brand new neighborhood. Um, something to keep in mind. So I've already opened the front door. When you walk in, the stairs are right here. There is no landing. So there is that. There is a front room right here that we could have them close off in the event you wanted to. So that's the nice thing about working with a builder is that before you were to move in, you could ask in your offer that they would do that for you. So you're passing the powder room here. It's got a pedestal sink. There you go. And then you walk directly. We'll deal with that in a second, this little area right here in a second, but there, here is your great room. It does look out. Let's go out here. I hadn't seen this yet. Oh God, the sun is like right in our face. Um, it appears it's going to look out on other homes. So I do want you to know that, but right over here, and it's so glary, you also have a view of this pond right here. So you'll have a little bit of both. Here is the kitchen in the breakfast nook area. Um, I'll get closer up to the cabinets here in a second. A cement slab on the, um, on the back there, that, that is closer to the patio, so that would be nice in the event you guys did some landscaping around there. Um, here's your kitchen. So there will be appliances in this home. Um, I'm guessing based on this, and I could find out detail if you are really interested, that there'll be some stainless. This is kind of a neat oven. It's actually a double oven in one, um, the way that it's built. So in the event you care about that, um, here is the pantry, a nice walk-in pantry with shelving on two of the walls. And that's where the fridge would go. Looks like this is your coat closet. So just to give you a visual, there's the front door. Coat closet. Oh, not coat closet. It is just the under the stair closet. So that just is some extra storage. This is your coat closet because this is a little center they built. They used to do this. This is a builder thing. So there's your mud bench for all your shoes and stuff and all your fun you know, when you come in from Indiana weather. And then there's a little charging station area, I'm assuming. Although there's not an outlet there, so we could ask for them to maybe install an outlet. Here is the garage. So there is the two car, and then that shows you the bump out area. There you go. All right, I'm gonna, this is an engineered hardwood floor that I'm walking on and there is no carpet on the first floor. So it smells a lot better than the last house. We just walked through together. All right, so going upstairs, I'm gonna count one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There is no loft up here. I mean, I guess you could consider this a little area, but it's not like the one that you put an offer in on. On the left, this appears to be the master bedroom. And it is, because here's the master bathroom. It has the same flooring as downstairs. Actually, it's a little bit different shade. And this is rated, oh, the toilet's in its own little place. There you go. It is rated. I know this because um, I know this flooring for bathrooms. I think I told you this weekend one of the floors we stepped on wasn't rated. So this has the larger tub and the tiled shower and a dual vanity. And you've got your walk-in closet that walks back this way. Going back out here. The master bedroom is a nice size. 
you have you're a little separated from the other bedrooms as well so then we go into bedroom two it does not have a walk-in closet but it does have sliders and that bar and then it has the one window so you could use bed wall here or bed wall there um i will come out this is bedroom three it's about the same size as the last bedroom at least feeling wise has about the same size closet um the carpet is upgraded i can tell whether or not that's important um this has that same floor this is the upstairs bathroom it does have the dual vanity and just a tub shower combo so and it has a little window above which is nice oh it does come with a linen closet which you don't always see so that's nice and this is bedroom four again it's a i would call it about the same size as the others they're all configured a bit different this one's on the front of the house so there you have it and this is just a normal closet as well and there's your half wall so that's what i mean like let me see if i can get a good picture for you this is when you get up the stairs there is a little space there i guess you could put like a small couch there but essentially if you were standing up against this wall you're looking at all the bedrooms so i don't know if it's a, a super big usable space but just wanted to give you that visual and then the laundry room is upstairs my guess is there is no washer and dryer that comes with there's like a little niche there that you could put in some built-ins or do something with oh your furnace and water heater are again upstairs let me show this stuff so there's that and here is this and um, this home is priced at 342 I think 990 um, so that just gives you an idea of what we would be looking at if you're looking at a builder um, but happy that I was able to give you this tour and those are kind of steep I'm worried about Chloe for that if she were to need to come upstairs there is that front room here I'll show it to you again so that's it's right here right off the front and the bathroom is right next to it so that's kind of nice but all right i will get this to you and you guys can take a look all right bye